jest Barnab, autor do książki Współczesna Rodzina. No, it's actually not my first time in Poland. I've been to uh, Krakow and Gdańsk before, but it's my first time in Warsaw. So uh, I really enjoy it. It's a beautiful city. Sure. Uh, I initially wanted to write a book about siblings, actually, uh, because I, yes, I'm a part of a big uh, flock of siblings myself. We are four and I'm the second one, but uh, I find the relation complex and interesting, so I wanted to, that was my uh, starting point, so to say. And then I find it interesting that the only group that increased on the divorce statistics in Norway in 2017 was the one over 60. So I would, was curious how that affected uh, the family dynamics and especially the sibling dynamics. Every character in this book represents sort of a theme, like Viv, the eldest one, uh, represents the sort of modern mother uh, with small children that she is following everywhere and are uh, eager to push forward in the world uh, and th at the same time protect them to the point of extreme, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have Edeline, who is 38 and are uh, struggling with... Um, being pregnant, so she uh, represents sort of the young modern women, women who are uh, waiting too long to to trying to get pregnant, and when she does, she realizes it's too late, and uh, she, yeah, it's become kind of existential for her because uh, she is wondering what is a human being without reproducing, and of course, it is it's a lot, but uh, but I think her. Uh, she needs to re-identify herself in some way. Mm -hmm. And then there's Håkon, who uh, yeah, he is representing the young modern man with uh, a desire to be free in every way possible. So he doesn't believe in monogamy and he doesn't believe in marriage. And uh, But then he finds it a little more difficult to uh, live out his ideology, ideology when his parents split up. So maybe it's not so modern after all. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's not autobiographical. This is fiction. So I've I've made the characters up, of course. But of course, there are some similarities in every. I think, but um, also the, I, m people have told me that uh, everybody with. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, a lot of people who com comes from a family with siblings themselves are sort of identifying themselves with uh, the eldest one or the middle one or the youngest one. So I think there's a, some kind of universal structure between siblings that I find interesting and that I've also used in this book. Wow, oh, that's a difficult one. I, I think I share both their views because uh, in some way I'm traditional uh, like Liv, but in some way I'm also, I can follow Håkon's thought. Uh, but I think I'm, 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 I'm placing myself in the middle of Håkon and Liv. And then you, you can also say that Håkon uh, has sort of a, not a change of heart, but, but he's, he's, uh, he has to realize himself that it's a huge difference between theory and practical. Oh, I really hope so. I, uh, I have, this is my fifth novel, so um, there's a lot of m in my backlist you can choose from. <laughs> and then uh, hopefully my next book also will be Sold to Poland. I think it's uh, great to be published here. I would like to say that I hope you will enjoy my novel, that it makes you think and reflect and maybe love your family a bit more.